so whenever we write any question if there is a historical view it is very important you will score high smart suppose aapne acha answer likha hai you are getting 60% Hello everyone welcome to Plotus IS I am Dr Jitendra Kumar today I will be discussing with you how to score maximum marks in history optional examination as you must be aware about me as per the previous videos you must have seen in the Plotus IS YouTube channel I have made a series of videos for GS paper 1 Uh, history examination then we have prelims perspective i have solved so many questions are there test series are there some videos are there okay and i have been teaching at delhi university also and i have done phd from jawaharlal nehru university <coughs> today in this video particularly i will discuss about how to score maximum marks in the history option in the previous video i have discussed that how to prepare for history option examination okay so in this one how to score so i have identified nine major stages through which we can score the maximum marks in the history option examination it is a short video so i will briefly discussing about that what is the major themes on which we should focus on while preparing for the history optional examination the first point that you can see on the board here is that the understanding the syllabus and exam pattern this is the first one i will explain each one by for you the second we have selecting right study materials is the very important point developing conceptual clarity this is the third stage fourth we have note making and revision strategy okay thereafter we have answer writing practice supplement uh, supplemental preparation tips additional resources and preparation support mock test and previous year questions paper and stay updated also so let me tell you briefly that what is this nine stages so i will discuss in detail about this nine stages the first stage that you have seen on the board is that understanding the syllabus and exam pattern you know that what is a syllabus you know that history optional examination is of 500 marks it is divided into two part paper 1 paper 2 paper 1 has ancient india plus medieval india it is of 250 marks paper 2 is of medieval india uh, paper 2 is of modern india plus world history includes uh, art and culture also and plus the post independent india we have in this one so we should understand what is syllabus what is exam pattern that we have seen right now so this is the first step to understand the syllabus and what is the exam pattern the second stage as i discuss with you here is that selecting the right study material this is very important point for us as a student what how to choose what to choose a right study material we know that there are four major themes of the history optional ancient medieval modern plus world history this is the important sources that is suggested for you for ancient india the three book is very important one two and three one book is ancient india by rs sharma other book is that uh, we have upinder singh ancient india and third the most important for the art and culture perspective we have l vasa the wonder that was india this book in hindi is known as adbhut bharat okay wonder that was india so this three book is very interesting book for ancient india for medieval india we have satish chandra medieval india and other book in the advanced form we have a two part volume the two volume of the satish chandra medieval india one is a Delhi Sultanate to Delhi Sultanate particularly, and second is a uh, Delhi Sultanate to Mughal. So then we go to modern India. The four book I have identified is the most important one, student. One is the Bipin Chandra, India's struggle for independence. You should remember, modern India is not sufficient. Modern India of Bipin Chandra is not sufficient for history option examination, student. The second we have. The Bipin Chandra, India since independence. In this one, you can also read apart from this one, the Ram Chandra Guha book. You can also read instead of this one, you can choose this book called Ram Chandra Guha. The book name is India after Gandhi. India after Gandhi. Third, we have it is a very favorite book in the market, Rajiv Bahir, A History of Modern India, and then we have Sekhar Bandhu Padhya, Plassey to Partition. This is very important for the historical perspective, student. For world history, we have Normal Law, Mastering Modern World History, and History of the Modern World by Jaren Mathur. So you have seen, student, that these are the numerous types of book are here. This all help us to understand what is the syllabus, what is the patterns, and what is the material. So this is the second stage to develop our good marks in the. Uh, history option examination what is second one selecting the right study material when we go to the third step so suppose that we have chosen this material 
so first of all we should read this book so once you start preparation you have understood the syllabus you have seen the question now you are reading this all study material from time to time chronological ancient medieval modern and then world history thereafter we will focus on the third stage that is the developing conceptual clarity this is the first stage third stage in this one but we should understand we should understand the topic thematically so in this one we should focus on understanding on the themes called socio economic changes cultural development political history and the administrative structure across the different period from ancient time to modern time these are the four themes we should be very clear what is the one socio economic changes happened in ancient time medieval time modern time cultural development that took place then we have political history and administrative structures are there then we could have a analytical approach also suppose we are asked about uh, whether ashoka used dhamma for religious purpose or for moral purpose or for administrative purpose suppose that question is that was dhamma related to buddhism or question is that if buddhism is alone a new religion no it was not a new religion it was very much influenced from vedic plus upanishad traditions so what we should say that we should have a analytical skills in our answer this is the third stage okay in the fourth one we should have a note making and the revision strategy we should make notes for ourselves whatever we have done in the second stage but i told you in the second stage we have to read the book so these are the major books we have to read so in this one in the fourth stage we have to make our notes so we will have a comprehensive concise notes remember we don't have to make 10 pages uh, 10 books 15 books notes it should be the concise only we should have a concise notes that should be made through uh, the points dates events and their significance only it should be organized thematically or chronologically for the easy revision okay we can make charts also chart form me isko hum bana sakte hain chart and table should be the important point in the in our notes so that we can remember and revise the themes very much thereafter what we will do we will revise our notes regularly create a revision schedule also schedule is very important and stick to it to ensure thorough coverage of the syllabus multiple times this is the way that will be key to your development in this one okay the fifth stage is the answer writing practice now we have to see the question paper pyq and all and here we have to see the answer writing practice as per the questions so practice answer in a structured manner remember this is very important to understand start with an introduction this is the first point we have we have to develop introduction that sets the context of the answer followed by a clear main body so one we had introduction second we have clear main body that addresses the question comprehensively and conclude with a concise summary so whenever a student you write a question suppose that question is of 250 word so we should not write more than 30 word in the introduction same with the 30 word in the conclusion and we should conclude and we start introduction within that so i generally prefer a student to write introduction or conclusion within 25 word or you can say two good sentences 50 15 15 word two good sentences will be enough to conclude or start introduction then answer writing may we should focus on historical interpretation also a student so whenever we write any question if there is a historical view it is very important you will score high smart suppose aapne acha answer likha hai you are getting 60% but if you will include historical interpretation the name of historian who argued this topic that topic you will get 1 1.5 marks extra so you will get 70% 75% so include suppose that question aap ye 1857 pe hai so we will include who are the major historians that 1857 revolt is a super mutiny or it is a first bar of independence or it is a popular revolt or not hai na so historical interpretation is very important as well remember the sixth stage in your answer in in the scoring graduate marks is a supplemental uh, supplemental preparation tips so but we will have we will have a historical perspective should be there so we will understand different historical perspective and debates on the important historical events as i discuss in this one right? this shows a deeper understanding of the historical interpretations for us students so this is very important for us to understand we will have a current affairs relevance also so if any topic is very important and related to the modern time we should include that in our answer of the historical texts okay 
the seventh stage we have is the additional resources and preparation strategy what do you mean by additional resources suppose that i have written about you can take a help of the coaching institute अगर आपको कोई भी प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है तो आप कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट का हेल्प ले सकते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल, हियर आई एम डॉक्टर जितेंद्र कुमार एट प्लूटस आई एस विल बी एबल टू सपोर्ट यू हाउ टू प्रिपेयर थॉरली एंड डू नो यू डू नॉट हैव टू रीड एनीथिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट ओके बी हैव द कंसाइज नोट फॉर एंसेंट मिडिबल मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री एंड इफ यू फोकस ऑन ऑल दिस थीम्स है ना सो इफ यू डिपेंड ऑन माई नोट्स दैट इज प्रिपेन दिथ सेक्शन एंसन मिडिबल वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री मॉडर्न हिस्ट्री पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंट एंड आर्ट एंड कल्चर प्लस आई हैव अ नोट्स फॉर द मैपिंग नोट्स ऑल द मैपिंग एप द ऑफ द मैपिंग साइट्स आर देयर सो आई हैव आइडेंटिफाइड अबाउट सिक्स हंड्रेड मैपिंग साइट्स एंड दैट इज मैंसन इन द नोट्स सो इफ यू फोकस ऑन दिस नोट्स अलॉन्ग विद द पी पी टी एंड क्लास यू आर गोइंग टू कवर इट्स सिलेबस यू डोंट हैव टू रीड वट इज मैंसन एट द पॉइंट नंबर टू है ना नोट्स आर एन ऑफ सो यू कैन टेक अ हेल्प ऑफ कोचिंग ऑल्सो बट इट डजेंट नीड टू बी टेकन है ना इट डजेंट मीन दैट कोचिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू आर एबल टू कम्प्लीट बाई दिस स्टेज कोचिंग कोचिंग इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड बट इफ यू थिंक दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक द थिंग्स इजी फॉर यू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्कोर मोर एंड हायर मार्क्स कोचिंग विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू ओके हेयर आई विल बी हेयर टू गाइड इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन कमेंट ऑन द बॉस आई विल बी able to reply and many management management bill team also help you there right okay then we have some online resources are there so utilize online platforms like upsc websites educational portals and forums for the study materials current affair and the updates this will further help you to add more things one then eighth point we have mock test remember student mock test and previous year papers are very important to understand okay so if you join mock test this will help you a lot suppose if you join mock test at our pollute science institute we will be checking your answer week wise suppose 3 month ka mock test hai so we will give you questions you will answer it we will check it and then we will have a meeting also so you will be revising yourself that what is your mistake what is your fault and you will be improving yourself also so mock test is very important and lastly we should be stay updated so what you have seen a student here is that these are the nine steps in which we can complete our uh, preparation and this is a key point to score more and highest marks in the history optional and nobody will stop you nobody will stop you in getting at least more than uh, 325 marks out of 500 okay so 325 out of 500 it is very easy to score for you that is more than 60% so let me repeat it understand the syllabus and exam pattern first stage Select your reading materials, write uh, write study materials, developing conceptual clarity, note making, revision strategy, answer writing practice, supplemental preparation tips that you can get from your senior, from your mentors and all. Then additional study resource material and the preparation support from coaching or online website, mock test and previous year papers paper and as, lastly stay updated. Apart from it, dedication is a very important thing, students. So I will request you to focus fully on your preparation for the next one. Year or two year that you have dedicated, this will help you to score more marks in the history optional. Apart from that, you also focus on prelims and other examination. I hope that you understood this topic. If you have any concerns and doubt, you can comment here on the YouTube link, or you can contact our uh, institute also. We will be helpful at any at any stages wherever you require. Okay, so and so please like, share, and subscribe our uh, YouTube uh, channel that is named as Plutus Science. Thank you so much, student.